Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Jake's Pen Reviews is here. We're back again with another pen review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Bic Ultra Round Stick Grip. Um, but before we start, um, the uh, the uh, Ink Joy and the Round Stick comparison video will be up in a few hours' time. I promise that today it's, we're going to make it happen. So, I just thought I'd say that before we start. So, looking at the exterior of the round stick, you already probably noticed that it has a cap on it. And that's pretty much the only difference between this and the round stick, except this one says Ultra Round Stick Grip. Is it upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. It says Ultra Round Stick Grip. So... Comparing the two side by side, we're going to take the cap off. It just comes off like any normal pen would. So we're going to compare the two side by side. So looking at the round stick, the most basic form of pen that you have on the market. I don't know actually if it says. Um, you can notice that this, the round stick, is a little bit more clear than... Well, it's actually a lot a bit more clear than the round stick grip because the round stick grip you cannot see through it at all it is just completely matte you can't see it so this is like an upgrade from the round stick it has the grip on it see that there's a grip on it whereas this just has the uh, normal where you pop it off and there's no grip see that it just my hand just slides up and down, but I'm a little bit sweaty because my dirt bike ran out of gas and I had to push it up the driveway. So, taking a look at this, they have the same tip, except the round stick, the base round stick, this one, is has a little bit more golden tip to it. It's a little bit more golden-y looking than the other one, the round stick with the grip. Um... And that's pretty much it, and the round stick grip has a grip, and the round stick is clear, whereas the round stick grip is not. So, this assembly on the round stick, if you didn't go back, go back and watch the round stick review, that's my in-depth review of the uh, round stick itself. So, this assembly, you just pull it apart, and it comes out. The ink cartridge, and then you push on this part up. And that comes off. And then you just have the ink cartridge itself. I already went over all of this in the other video. I have a playlist of all my pen reviews. Go ahead and if you want to binge watch all of them, go ahead. And this assembly on this, I guess I haven't had uh, my hands on one of these for a while. So I guess you like grab the grip and just pull it. Right? Yeah. Oops. So yeah, there's this shell. You can compare the shells. The round stick grip has a considerably smaller shell than the um, round stick, its base model version. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this back on so that we don't lose it. So yeah, uh, very much smaller on the shell side, but it has to be smaller to accommodate the grip that is on it so we're gonna take the grip off it just slides off and this is the grip itself it's made of plastic so it doesn't deform at all see that like I'm squishing it and it does not deform listen it's made of plastic and the outside is like a rubbery grip type of material and you can see why it was smaller here if I hold up the two, you'll notice that the round stick grip has a lot, lot, lot bigger, very substantial, about two times as big, um, I don't know what to call that, like, piece, I don't know, to accommodate the grip. And then it has the same size there to go into the, um, into the shell itself. So, we're going to take the grip back off, and we're going to see... I don't know if it disassembles this way. We're going to find out. Put the shells aside. I don't know if it does. Hold on. Yeah, it does. 
So it just slides down like a normal pen, like a normal round stick, and it is very large. Here, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of just those, just so that you can get a feel for how much larger the round stick grip one is. They are also different colors. Look at how much bigger the round stick grip is than that one. It's awesome, kind of. So what we're going to try and attempt to do now is put the uh, round stick grip onto the round stick itself. So, yeah, it looks interchangeable. This is the round stick, um, the round stick ink cartridge. So I'll just set these aside for now, the other pieces here. This is the round stick grip pen cartridge. I'll put that over there. Put the cap for the round stick grip over with it. And the grip is here and the shell is here. Okay, so now that I have everything all sorted out on my table, we're going to slide it on, slide the grip on, and instead of using the round stick grip shell, we're going to use the round stick shell because these two are different sizes and I'd like to see what happens. So what we're going to do, we're going to reassemble it and keep in mind this is the round stick cartridge with the round stick grip, whatever that part is. I don't know what to call it. So we're going to slide it on, and it it's a little tough fit. Oh yeah, that's pretty tough. And it makes for a very, very big pen. But see the gripper move up and down, which isn't a problem for me anyways. But it makes for a very large pen. If you like big pens, this is very big pen. So what you got to do is find a round stick. Find a round stick. Find a round stick grip, take off, hold on, now I gotta get, I stuck it in there hard, hold on, there you go, got it. So, what you want to do is you want to find the pieces of a round stick grip and put it into the pieces of the round, oh, well, I guess this could be considered the lower receiver, right? And this would be the upper receiver, but this is a standard action, so there's really, there's no action to it, so it's just always out. Unless you have a cap. So we'll just call it the bottom piece and the upper piece for now. So, um, yeah. The round stick grip fits into the pieces of a round stick. How about that? So we're going to replace... Oh, that's in there tough now, too. Hold on. I don't want to break the ink cartridge and get it everywhere. So now, what we are going to... I think I might have to leave it in there because it's in there tough. Hold on. I'm afraid I'm going to break the ink cartridge. So I'm just going to leave the... I'm sorry. I'm going to leave the round stick grip. The round stick ink cartridge in the round stick grip. I'm sorry. I can't get it out. Here, I'll try one more time. Yeah, it's not coming out. I'm sorry. So put a grip back on. And put it back into its shell. But now I wonder if the round stick grip thing will fit. It probably will. Yeah. It does. So, um, we're going to do a review of it now. Okay, I'll put the cap back on. So, cap, grip, um, smaller shell, bigger inner piece, bigger upper piece than the lower piece on the round stick itself um we're gonna test the writing capability i've been using that index card for a while so we're gonna throw that one out we're gonna grab a new one okay so i got this new ones i have two um so put the cap on the top of it and we're gonna write i need something to hold it down with I don't have anything. So I'll just use my hand. So see, look. It writes really dark here. Let me turn the light off. It writes really dark and really smooth. So I can write with this pen all day. Very good pen. Um, so review 
of it. It has the grip, the cap, um, bigger piece on the inside, smaller piece on the outside to accommodate the grip. And it has the round stick grip cartridge in there now because I got the one stuck in the round stick. So, oh yeah, and also the, this is not clear. So that has been the, uh, the round stick grip. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys thought about it in the comments section. Um, okay, I'll see you later. Oh, and, um, the round stick and the ink joy are going to be battling it out in about an hour. So, I'll see you later, guys.